Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tsong's Real World Data. This is Tsong Wang. Today, I will talk about how to recode column values in R. Sometimes, when you import your data in R, you may find your data was not saved the way you want it. For example, here, my RG01, RG02, RG03 are strings, but I want to transform them into numerics so I can calculate the means, standard deviations, or apply numerical operations. In this video, I will show you how to recode multiple columns in R by using the mutate and recode functions. In this video, I will continue using the sample data from my PhD dissertation. The original data contains 69 rows and 138 columns. In my previous video, I showed you how to remove invalid entries, how to rename columns, and how to remove unneeded columns. I ended up with a data file called mydata.needed, which includes 46 rows and 54 columns. Today, I'm going to work on this data. First, let's set the working directory. So R will know where to look for your data and where to save your data. And then we need to load the data. And here we are going to use the readRDS function to load the data file called mydata.needed. Let's run the codes. To ensure that the data was loaded correctly, we can check the dimension of the data. We can also view the data. As you can see from the data, R is reading in my variables as string instead of numeric. I need to transform these string variables into numerical variables, since later I will need to apply numerical operations to these variables. For example, I may need to calculate the mean scores across several items. In this video, I will show you how to recode lacquer scale items. Let's load the package of DPRYR. One of my items is about whether my participants believe the experiment is interesting. And it's a 5-point lacquer scale item. Now I'm going to show you how to transform string to numeric for a single lacquer skill item. Here I'm assigning the resulting data as my data.recoded one. I pass the original data, my data.mutate, to the function of mutate. The mutate function is used to create, modify, and delete variables in R. You can use the following code, question mark, mutate, parentheses, to access the help document and learn more about this function. Within the mutate function, we need to first specify the name of the variable in the output. And then we are going to tell R how you want to record your column or variable and by using the record function. Similarly, if you want to know more about the record function, you can refer to the help and the documentation in R. Within the record function, we need to specify which variable we intend to modify. Here is interesting. Just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm gonna name the new variable as interesting1. Later, we can compare the two variables, interesting and interesting1, and check whether our recording is done correctly. Then, we tell R how we want to recode the variable by specifying the old values and the corresponding new values. In this example, definitely not equals 1, probably not equals 2, might or might not equals 3, probably yes equals 4, definitely yes equals 5. Run the code and check the new data by viewing it. 
The column of interesting still has the string data. At the end of the dataset, we see a new column called interesting1, which includes numerical data ranging from 1 to 5. Actually, I don't want to create too many new variables for my data. Therefore, I modify the code by changing the new variable name from interesting1 to interesting. Next, I'm going to show you how to recode multiple Likert scale items in R. In my example, the 15 items of rational generation orientation were based on the same Likert scale. I assign the output data to mydata.recoded2. This time, I work with the mydata.recoded1. Since I'm going to work on more than one column at a time, I use mutate add function instead of mutate. Within the mutate add function, I specify the variables or columns that I intend to modify. Because I want to specify more than one variable, here I need to use a concatenation function, which is C parentheses. In this case, I want to recode the variables from RG01 to RG015. Next, we use a fence function to indicate how we want to recode these variables. Specifically, we want to transform never to 1, sometimes to 2, about half the time to 3, most of the time to 4, always to 5. Next, I recorded the remaining Likert scale items using a similar code. As always, you can find my R codes in the PDF lecture note. So far, we have successfully recorded all the Likert scale data from string to numeric. In this video, I showed you how to recode a single Likert scale question as well as multiple Likert scale questions from strings to numerics. In the next video, I will keep talking about data recoding and I will introduce another scenario, recoding multiple choice items. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.